But with such concept aircraft, sometimes things don't exactly go according to plan. The design took so long that the war came and went, and when it finally took to the skies in 1946, it was perceived to be a little bit more antiquated than some of the jet aircraft that the Air Force had seen deployed by the Germans at the end of the war. Whilst its initial test flights were without incident, it turns out that the propellers on the plane hadn't actually been investigated to see if they worked with the engines on board. The highly efficient contra-rotating propellers began to vibrate loose from the Pratt & Whitney engines, causing frustration for the engineers. As it turns out, these engines and propellers had been selected and provided to Northrop by the Air Force without testing or even securing a guarantee that they would work, as if someone had made a backroom deal. 